Displaced with no place to call home. For many, it's hard to even imagine. For over two and a half years, this family of six have been living as refugees in northern Iraq. But soon, with the help of some large-hearted citizens of Dryden, this is about to change. In life, I believe that uh, people who can give are privileged, and people who can have an open heart are privileged. One of those helping to lead the charge to bring this family into Canada is Gada Ibrahim, a local dentist who, in her early teens, became a refugee herself during the Iraqi-American War. I can't turn my back. I was a refugee at some point in my life, which was 23 years ago. And once I realized I can actually help, because a lot of times there are refugees in the world by the millions, and as myself or my community or my country, we can't do anything for them. But once the Canadian government opened the door and we had people who are willing to donate their time and their money and effort, it was a no question. It means the world to me. Along with a committee of 10 members, the work has now begun to bring this family to Dryden by the end of February. In the meantime, however, support is needed to help make this possible. Giving back to that family and helping them out uh, is just a small part of me saying thank you, and not only to Canada, but to everybody that ever uh, lent a helping hand to me. This is, this is the way anyone should do it. You get help in the past or in the future, and then you help other people. There's, it's, life is all give and take. Dryden is welcoming. Uh, and that's my personal experience, um, and I've fundraised before for other uh, causes, and I've experienced right in myself as a health professional. The doors are open, the hearts are open, uh, people are fun, trusting, um, everybody in Dryden is very supportive. It's a lot of work, but people's hearts are big, and they understand the struggles of these families and the need, the big need, to help somebody like that. From now until the family arrives, the committee is looking for monetary donations, living supplies, and more. To find out how you can help, search Dryden Syrian Refugee Committee on Facebook. A lot of people feel reluctant about um, bringing refugees into Canada, and the media created a lot of fear. Uh, but there's good and bad in everybody, and there is uh, political turmoil all the time. This is a purely humanitarian effort. Uh, these people are the victims of the people we worry about or we are worried about in general. Uh, they suffered the same thing anybody else in the world suffers on the hands of dictatorships or on the hands of terrorism uh, or on the hands of injustice in general. I don't want to label it. Uh, but these people are pure victims um, and they will be great addition to Dryden but in general to Canada because we, we are a welcoming country and we have open and big hearts and we are peaceful people and uh, we believe in helping. It's, we, that's what makes us special all around the world, I think, and I believe that. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Tommy Johnson.